coming up this week for Simply Off Track. I think I have a bit of a crowd here. <laughs> Hopefully we can find the fish. Uh, I don't know how many vlogs it's been now and we still haven't caught a fish. So we had a change of plans. Um, We've arrived. <laughs> We've been snacking on a... <laughs> Give me my popcorn. <laughs> You're a an animal. I had to see that domestic. <laughs> but um, we got to our location. Ooh. It's a lovely spot. There's flushing toilets here. Alert. We've been in long drops in the Freedom Campsite Star, covered in sand blocks, so a change of uh, scenery is nice. This was one of the coldest days we'd had. It actually even started snowing on this day. And we drove a good bit, so we kind of just went to bed early enough so we can have a nice early drive to Wanaka the next day. We survived the night. So what do we have here, Sean? We have oh, we our got a lot sleeping of bags, our thermals on, thermals. and a blanket. I'm wearing like full clothes. Merino wool socks. Two pairs of socks. I slept in a scarf. My head covered. Sean took my hat. I can't find my hat. He <laughs> can't find his hat. Uh, but we survived our coldest night in the van. Got up to minus three, four, or more. It got minus six. Oh, sorry, minus six. It was cold. It was very cold. Just been washing dishes. Uh, I think I have a bit of a crowd here. <laughs> Why are you following me? Now that it's actually sunny, and clear skies, I thought I'll show you guys properly where we were staying last night. Just look at those mountains. Right, so today we're heading more north, a bit closer to Wanaka. We're going to be staying around the Red Bridge Reserve and apparently you can do a bit of fishing there so Sean's ready to go. Apparently where we're fishing, the Clutha River, it's got a, a quick flow and apparently it's supposed to be huge so I did say shoreline anglers typically struggle in this location, we're going to give it a go. Because yeah. if you don't go, you don't know. If we need to, we can drive to another spot if we need to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's I go. believe in you. I believe. We got some new lures. We've also figured out, finally, after like two and a half weeks on the road, that if we park up against the wind, there's no wind at the very back, so we can actually do some cooking. So far, when we came over the bridge, I took a look at the water. It was really, really fast. I, I think I wouldn't even try to get a rod in. 
um, but I'm hoping with some twists and turns in the river, we get some nice little pockets of kind of stiller water where the fish are going to be waiting. Because at the end of the day, these fish eat to survive like we all do. And they're trying to limit the amount of uh, energy expenditure they have uh, per day and maximize the amount of food. So the way the fish want to sit in the water is in nice calm pockets where food is getting brought to them downstream and they're able to just pick at it when they want. So that's the plan. That's fish talk. Hopefully we can find a fish. Uh, I don't know how many vlogs it's been now and we still haven't caught a fish. I definitely didn't realize how much harder fishing was. Like when I was younger, you know, my dad just did everything for me and I just threw it in and just wait and then, oh my God, a fish. But I didn't realize, you know, spinners and lures and like knowing the spots to go and conditions. So we're a bit novice to this. We spent the next half an hour finding a place, but instead of losing half of our gear and new lures, we decided to pack it in. The river was just too fast for us. Now, we did end up finding pine cones the size of our heads, so that's a plus. We decided to drive down to Wanaka Town to grab some breakfast and see what this hype is all about over a tree. She locked? Shampoo waterproof coating on my shoes. Let's see how waterproof they are. Oh. <laughs> Oh, look at that. It literally just comes Man, right off. I actually see the balls of water. That's mad. Cloth. Look, you can just... And then they just they shake off. My dad has been telling me for years to buy this spray, this magic spray. And I was like, yeah, yeah, dad, I'll get to it. I'll get to it. He wasn't, wrong. he wasn't wrong. He wasn't it's wrong. magical. Now we're going to try and find some pies. Yeah, the Monica tree, pretty cool. Yeah, very cool. We're seeing beautiful little lake. Great day for it. Great day. Oh, if you get the weather, it's Stop. stunning here. Um, yeah, Blue gonna go sky. get a pie. Wow, look at the moon. Tell me on the moon's out during the day in New Zealand. It's madness. The rope is up here. It's gonna be 10 skins easy, watch it. Ooh! Oh, sh! That was! Oh You're my good. god! Good. Good. I want to try! <laughs> Go on, have a go. <laughs> Wasn't bad. Got the chicken, leek, and bacon. Have a go. Ooh, I love the pumpkin seed star on my one. Mmm. Great crust. Mmm. Mine's really good, honestly. It's like a vegetable stew. Oh wait, top mm -hmm. crossover. Oh no, pumpkin seeds. Mmm. Mm. Wow. That's lovely. Mmm. Mm. That's up my alley. The, the birds are slowly surrounding us. I don't blame them.
So we had a change of plans. <laughs> um, yeah, we're in Twizel. <laughs> so yeah, we were in Wanaka and basically we were just trying to figure out what we actually want to do for the last week and a half on this island and we decided we're gonna have to skip the west coast drive. Uh, a, there's recently been floods so we don't really know about the state of the roads. Mm, um, big concern. Yeah. Yeah. B, uh, it's gonna take us longer which means more petrol and they're the freedom camping spots. There are some, but they're more like spaced out. Yeah. So it'll just mean like a lot of long, long drive days. And hopefully we'll catch a fish and we'll start making our way up north. We have no idea what we're going to ah, do. Well, we have some things. We want to hit the Hanmer Hot Springs. Yeah. That's a must. We're going to do probably a two day tramp at Arthur's Pass. Yeah. Um, so that's three. Oh, was it not Marlborough Sounds we're going to do? Marlborough get? Sounds, we're going to do that as well. That is way further north. Like that's the very tip. Right. That's kind of around where we're going to be getting the ferry from. So we're going to do some hikes in Marlborough Sounds as well. So we've got a good few days of hiking ahead of us. Good few days of fishing, hopefully. Yeah. And some hot springs. I'm, I'm really so, excited yeah. for it. I know we didn't do much in Queenstown or in Wanaka, but well, we saw, honestly we for saw, us. Go on. Sorry, no, sorry. go on. I was going to say, we saw a lot of Lord of the Rings locations. Yeah, and that's what we came and Wanaka, for. And that's why we came to New Zealand. You know. Uh, yeah, we didn't jump on a bungee cord or we didn't jump out of a plane. Um, <laughs> you know, just with our financials and we've been traveling for so long, we just didn't really have the money yeah. to really say, to justify it. You know, maybe in another time when we come because back. Because it just means we'll have to sacrifice something else that we really, really want to do and yeah, instead. Yeah. So yeah, after changing our plans, I spent the afternoon trying to make a route for the upcoming few weeks and Sean went fishing, of course, since Twizel is world famous for its salmon filled canals. And boy, they were not wrong. What you got there? That's salmon. Oh my god. Isn't it beautiful? Oh my god, Sean, that's a huge salmon. Uh, yeah, yeah, come down. No, don't let him wiggle himself back out. Oh my god, Sean, your first salmon! Wow, look at him. He is a beauty, isn't he? Oh, stop. Oh, let's see here. So we've just uh, gutted the salmon here. And now we're going to bag it up. She's beautiful. I'll take it home. <laughs> <laughs> Buzzing for dinner and out tonight. Oh baby. Man, what a colour. Yeah, oh, the colour's unbelievable. It's so rich. Stop. Just trying to keep along with the bones. Yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect. I know. But you want to try to get as yeah. much of the creature as you can. Because at the end of the day, he's given our life or his life to us. He's a professional, guys. <laughs> I'm really not, to be honest. I'm absolutely butchering this. That's what we wanted. Okay, our four packets of fish. <laughs> right, Ready to go. Over. We'll put them on. Well, we have another All right, slab. guys. <laughs> well, we've just cooked <laughs> our just... fish. And <laughs> Lena's on the phone with her sister. <laughs> and I just cooked up a great meal here, guys. Uh, let's You're have a look. Live, uh, this is view from log, log. This is the fish. <laughs> wow. Honestly, I've already tasted it. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> no. Okay. So a lean day to go fishing. So 
now to the canals. She's gonna go off to Twizel. And leave me down here on Ohau Canal B, where I caught my fish yesterday, and hopefully to catch another fish today. It was so nice, guys. It was really delicious dinner last night. Um, no better feeling than harvesting your own, your own meal, your own protein. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a greenhouse. <laughs> in the van but one day we'll have our own vegetables as well anyway i'm gonna plug my phone in listen to a podcast and get this spinner in the water and hopefully we can get some action i'll check in with you if we do okay so i'm fishing here and i just saw a diseased fish in the water right in front of me this poor guy this doesn't look good his back's all bubbly he's just lying here on the side um, beautiful fish, big fish, looks like a brown trout to me, um, but I think he's, uh, he's seen better days. He's trying his best, but I don't think he has much left in him. I don't know if you can see him, he's right here, he's swimming away. Um, I kind of resuscitate him a little bit, so hopefully he survives. All right guys, we got fish on. You can see him, he's a lovely salmon. Beautiful little salmon, we're gonna try. Guide him in, I'm gonna try to put my phone down. Here. That is gonna be another good salmon dinner. Woo! That's him in the net. Let's get a look at him. Boom. Beautiful fish, absolutely beautiful. So we're going to process them here down the lake. There we go, that might be a better, better image. I'm going to weigh him as well. Slided another nice meal ahead of us tonight. Always a great feeling. But yeah, so I'm going get, to get moving on him now. I don't, I don't want to leave him out of the water too much. So, Sean. We made it back we made it. to our favorite camp spot. Can yeah. you guys guess? It doesn't get any better than this. There's Mount Cook. Look at that view. Sean's gonna be cooking up, well, preparing the fish while I actually washed our bedclothes today. Um, yeah, I had a pretty, Sean had a great day. I had a pretty traumatic day. It was like one of those days where everything just kept going wrong. Uh, like I went to petrol station, try to fill up with petrol station. And it was like really weird instructions. Couldn't figure it out for ages. Then I paid for it and, and took money off Sean's account. So I accidentally paid for diesel, but then it reverted that. And then I finally got petrol, but I ended up costing Sean an extra five dollars for absolutely no reason. Then I went to try to get rid of the bin, and the bin was two dollars, which is nothing. But then the bin thing, automatic bin, didn't work, so it's just two dollars gone. Yeah. And I didn't want to put in another two dollars because then. Like, well, if that doesn't work, then we're out on $4 and been still here. So there's that. And then the laundry, I had to go to numerous shops to get change. And I kept forgetting cables that I needed. I had to go in and out of the van. It was just, just a tough day. So I'm going to do up the bed sheets. Sean's going to prepare the fish. And we're going to go in for a dip because I need a bit of shock.
Another salmon. Very nice. Sean provides. Sean provides. I'm a provider. But yeah, this is our view now. It's really starting to set. <laughs> 